Yesterday I thought I'd play Rainbow Islands. It's a game I never actually played in the arcade um, because I never actually saw an arcade machine until two years ago when I went to Arcade Club. So if you're in the UK and you've never been to Arcade Club, I'd highly recommend it. Uh, there's one in Bury, one in Leeds, and it's a pretty awesome place. So this game came out in 1987. It's known as the story of Bubble Bobble 2. Uh, but seven years later, 1994, Tato came out with Bubble Bobble 2 itself. So I'm not quite sure where the naming convention come from. Although that is actually known as Bubble Symphony as well, I believe. So the thing I like about this game is the fact that there is no other game even remotely like it that I'm aware of. Um, so it's a great game to play. Whereas games like Bubble Bobble, there are games that are very, very similar, like Snow Brothers. Many other games that are similar to other games as well. So yeah, that is what I like about this game. Now, I first played this on an Amiga. That's probably the, the format I played it on the most. I'm neither bad nor great at the game. Um, but let's jump into it and see how far I can get. So there's many hidden items, bonuses, secrets within the game. There are so many of them, I couldn't possibly explain as we go how you get them. Um, they do appear when you fire your rainbows. Um, but there are ways of actually building them up and getting further objects. But I will just try and point them out as and when they appear. So there are seven worlds in the game. Complete all seven worlds and you complete the game. There's a bad ending and a good ending. I've absolutely no idea how you trigger either. I've never, never got there, never likely to. So there's the seven worlds. Uh, but one of the secrets is if you collect all of the rainbow diamonds from every world, you will actually unlock three hidden worlds. So there are, in fact, ten worlds. Uh, again, say so I'm never likely to get onto any of them, but uh, many people have. Uh, I'm sure it would take quite a while to get there and it'll be some damn good feat to do it because it is pretty tricky. And another little secret is if you collect the rainbow diamonds in the right order, so that's from red to violet, or in reverse, from violet to red, you unlock a hidden room at the boss stage when it's nothing special, it's just a little room with a few objects in it and the one object is worth 100,000 points. So if you are going for a high score, um, it's certainly one thing to try and do. I have done it a few times. I'm very unlikely to do it in this game, um, but we'll see what happens. Um, the way to actually get the diamonds is that when you kill an enemy, you have to kill them by dropping a rainbow on them. Where that enemy falls, so if they're on the left, it will be a red diamond. If they're on the right, it will be a violet diamond. If they're in the middle of the screen, it will be a green diamond and so on. So that's how you get the diamonds in the right order. But as I say, it is pretty tricky. So let's give it a go and see how far I get on the one credit. So there is a strict time limit on the game. You don't really get long to get to the top of the screen. And I don't want the green one, I want to try and get the red one. So drop it on the top, get the red diamond. If I just hit the enemy, it will give me an object. Now the objects come in a specific order. So there's my orange. So if you want to get more rainbows, you need to get the red pot, which it appears after about three or four objects that you'll get from killing. I don't want that one. Let's see if I can get, I'm not gonna get the yellow one. So I'll probably do want that, let's get it, yeah. So now I've obviously somewhere down the line, I've not even done it without knowing it, I have collected the, the red pot and got a second rainbow. You can get up to three rainbows. If you collect an orange pot, it makes the rainbows appear quicker. And there's my orange pot, so the rainbows will now appear quicker. So it's all good firepower. There's also some chalices that you can collect. If you get a gold chalice, it will uh, drop large money bags on you that are worth 100,000 points each. Now that red star I got just kills everything on the screen. If I get a yellow star, it will kill everything above me or above the star. There's another red star. The objects at the top, doesn't matter what they are, you just get 500 points for each. So there's four rounds to every world. 
I now just need the, uh, the yellow diamond to complete the set. So if I do complete the set, I will also get a free life. Wait and time is right. I could get the yellow. No, didn't do it right. Got the orange. So still just the yellow guy I need to get if I can get it. And I get a, a free life at 100,000 points as well. And there's the yellow. So there's two free lives in one go. Certainly not going to argue that. So depending on where your rainbows hit, you'll see that there are a number of hidden objects that appear. Or they can appear. Another one of the objects you can get when you do hit your hidden objects, instead of an object, you'll get a money bag, and each money bag is worth 10,000 points. I can't remember what that little necklace does, but the blue, sorry, that little ring does, a little, but a little blue ring uh, will enable your score to keep going every time you move. So, as you notice at the moment, when I move, there's no points. But with the blue ring, your score will constantly go up. Here comes the boss. So what you need to do is fire as many rainbows as you can and then jump as the boss hits it and you'll almost kill the boss straight away. And he doesn't take much after that. So as I've got all the diamonds, I've just got a large diamond which gives me the actual final set which you need to collect. And then when you look at the world map, the diamond is next there. So if I was to get all seven, I would unlock the other three worlds. But yeah, never, never going to do that. I've only ever got the diamonds in the right order in this world once. So, I think it's safe to say that's not going to happen. There's the first diamond not in the right order. I should collect it anyway. I'd rather get the free life. So there was that uh, blue ring, so you'll find that I'm now scoring points every time I move. But you'll find that when you actually fire a rainbow, if you walk close to the rainbow, you'll automatically walk up it. Now you can't slowly walk up it, it will automatically move you halfway up that rainbow. So if there's an enemy nearby, you will just walk straight into that enemy, as I almost just did then. See, my time limit is almost up, up already. All the enemies turn angry when you're, on the, when you're hitting that time limit. So if you're not going for a high score and just trying to get as far as you can, my advice would be just go up straight away. Just get to the top as soon as you can. Don't hang about. But then what's the point? You might as well go for a high score. So that was a cross I just hit there. So the cross, as you can see, gets the lightning bolts firing down. It kills everything in their path. So I think they do only last for a limited time. Here we go, they've stopped now. Again, just gives you a bit of a safer journey. So 
for the final round of World 2. So I need to get blue and violet. There's a violet one, I'm not going to get it. Maybe another chance in a bit. There it is. comes the boss. So again, fire up the mini rainbows as you can. When he hits it, you can drop those rainbows and it finishes him off. So as I've got the diamond, I'll get a large diamond here. Well, two done. World 3 is where it starts getting really tricky. Some of the areas are really tight. New enemies that follow you around. enemies to you and they will follow you. At least some of them will. So sometimes that can be a way of getting rid of them. So I've obviously got the object that gives me the money bags instead of normal objects every time I release them. Now round 10 is where I usually start to fall to pieces. I find the stars on this level are useful, very useful. I just missed that one. And there we go, first life loss. Now when I lose a life, I go back to having one rainbow, so it actually makes it even harder. I desperately need to earn a red pot. Otherwise, I could be in trouble now. There's a pot. Oh. As I say, round 10 is when I start to fall apart. I'm 
squeeze it through it so we'll see how far we can get from here. There's a pop, that's useful. And I just need the red diamond as well. Too close for comfort. There's my third pop, so back to three. I just need to get the orange one now for the speed. with this game as well you can actually jump through platforms and you can use your rainbow to pass through platforms but you can't walk through platforms round of world three. Now the boss of world three is tricky at the best of times. So there's the orange bucket. So full, full speed with the rainbows. But I don't want that thing lurking. points also give me a free life. I can get at this point. So I might need them for the boss. But I must admit, I do think you actually lose any special items you've got when it comes to the boss anyway. So as long as I've got my rainbows, that's the main thing. I want my rainbows and the speed. If I lose them, it's very difficult with one rainbow to beat the boss. It's hard enough as it is. We've managed to do it. Oh, 
World 4 is as far as I've ever got. I've reached the bottom World 4, I think, once. But World 4 is incredibly tricky. And I must admit, when you look at it, it probably looks quite easy. But it's not. Well, the first stage of uh, World 4 successfully navigated. It's really a matter of how much further I can get now. Getting angry. I still can't hit him. I'm sure there's people out there that can take this level with speed, but you'll notice I'm taking it very carefully and, yes, yeah, still failing miserably. So back to one rainbow. Well, so far so good, even though I've only got one rainbow. That's the one that's tricky, because literally you start the level and they're coming straight at you. And you need to get the star straight away. If you're slightly slow, they have you immediately. Fall a long way, yeah. Okay, so now at this point, there is no platforms at all, so you're just going to make your way up and fail and yeah, fall. Yeah, and I fall a long way. And in a minute I'll get the hurry up. And we 
get that. Can we get that? It's the final round of World 4, but if I make it past this, it's going to be a miracle. Well, at least I've got another rainbow. That's, that's at least something. with three lives left. Well, if I get an orange, I get a fourth life. And that was always going to happen. Damn it. I didn't want to jump then. I might have had a chance. Well, I can't believe I'm actually reaching the box. Only for my second time ever. I have no idea how to kill this one because there's just too much going on. Can't even hit him. Ah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's a tough one. So there it is, Rainbow Island. So I hope you've enjoyed that, and thanks for watching.